Hey, it's Lee at Craftsman Direct, and I am in Durham this morning looking at a lady's house, and unfortunately she had some water damage, but she called us to help her, and I'm going to talk through this repair. It's no easy way to measure it, so um, let me just show you kind of what's going to happen. We're going to start here. That's about two feet. Turn this wall, and you see right there we got to put in a stud, and that's not going to be easy because there's nothing to nail to here. Um, but you've got to nail that corner. Um, this run along this wall here, um, uh, that's uh, two foot high, eight foot long. And um, here's the other side of it that we're going to run down to this. And that's going to be the other side of that eight foot. Um, here's a little gap. And um, let's go ahead and measure these at, um, that's, uh, Call it three foot. Here's a two foot by two foot section on the side of the corner. Um, that's eight inches. She's asked that this paneling be removed and replaced with sheetrock, so we'll have to take down this panel. Um, what I make sure I understand with her is that we'll leave, and I don't think city's gonna let us because they're gonna be in here inspecting um, as lead as the uh, uh, wires exposed. So we'll have to continue. You got a little bit of framing in here. Continue the ceiling. We'll have to sheetrock the ceiling. Let's get closet measurements. It is 21 deep, and um, the width measures um, five feet. And um, you've got these two back sides, which you got to add some framing in here. Of um, That's 9 inches on one side, 18 inches on the other, which means it's 18 inches on the front side. And here's another one of these two feet pieces. And uh, she has asked for this wall. And the wall is going to measure height was 6, 6, uh, six foot 1. Um, and uh, I think that was nine long. It was nine long. Um, you've got this piece here, which is 16, and that two foot run on the bottom. Um, this is uh, seven foot. And so you'll have the opposite side, which will form one sheet. Um, this little corner here, which is about you know, three, two foot by two foot. Um, and this is a little bit different. Um, let's start behind the door and kind of look at the floor, floor run. This is that seven foot run, so it had one foot to it. That's got to be a seven foot run, so that's um, we'll call it the inside and the outside is only one piece. This is that same six foot height and it's four. So that's one four by eight sheet. Um, we've got this little piece here. And um, there's a seven foot by two. Is that seven foot? Let me see. Nope, that's not. That is a uh, eight foot and a half. Eight foot six. So um, we can either get a 12 foot or we can probably the best thing to do is add because you see you've already got a stud out for that last six inches over eight feet and let's look at this run the height of this last room um it's 25 inches and i talked to her about kicking it up one inch so we can still make that two foot cut off so um this is seven foot ten inches long so that would be one sheet <clears throat> there's a foot on the inside a uh, foot and a half on the other side of the closets and um, we're going to need to get a ram set because that floor is moving um, in the back foot and a half um, is 21 um, 65 21 and this frame is kind of mucked up. Um, we, you see the big gap, and that's that exceeds 16. We'll have to put a joist in the middle. Um, I'm sorry, a stud in the middle. And um, that 
two by four needs its complement on the inside so we can nail two. So we've probably got three or four framing members to add. Um, the balances perimeter is, um, that's two foot around this corner. And this run here is six foot and let's make sure that's a two foot height and it is and let's check this run here to the back of that closet door um, all right that's um 10 feet and um with that information we should have all we need um, our first inspection we've got to pull permits is the insulation and we will give John Reed a call at City of Durham downtown to find out if he's got any any paperwork on this one. Um, what she's asked is that we take it to finished drywall to the point of them being able to come in and prime and paint. Um, I've discussed with her the need to put furring strips on the concrete walls and we've got one of them. Um, that closet, it'll be two and this room will have this as well and that would be three and um, <clears throat> I'm guessing this paneling is going to have a need for furring strips as well. Um, so, anyhow, I think that's it. Thank you.